Those pants look as o g a y To the person who left this comment, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab you by the neck, look into your quivering eyes, and ask you some questions. And you're gonna answer them for me. Is it that the pants look gay, or is it that me wearing these jeans awakens some kind of deeply seated desire and feeling inside of you that you're not comfortable with? Maybe if I button them up, does that help calm things down for you? How about if I wear this big, huge belt? Or I don't know, toss my hair a bit more? How about if I wear this cute top inspired by Japanese street fashion? Or this silver? A statement piece and these Y2K glasses, or if I put my leg up on the couch, how about if I stand here by the wall and pretend I'm doing a photo shoot? Do these jeans still speak to you the same way, or are you just ready to burst? All jokes aside, if you ever get a negative comment from someone, just remember that the person leaving that comment is literally telling on themselves. They're showing you what they themselves are feeling insecure about. If you just remember that and keep your head high, you'll always have the upper hand. Not a man packs that much. Well, for starters, masculinity has nothing to do with how many pieces of luggage you travel with. That said, I think the type of man that packs that much probably has a couple different businesses that he runs. He most likely single handedly does the job of at least 20 people. He most likely works. Remotely. The type of man that packs that much is probably meticulously disciplined and has made a lot of sacrifices in order to travel abroad for two months, which, by the way, two months of travel and three suitcases sounds pretty efficient. But still, I know the question is what kind of man packs that much? I think it would be the kind of man who was raised by immigrant parents, probably didn't have much as a kid and had nothing handed to him. And now, as a man of culture and refinement, he probably likes to take care of himself in every way and manner possible, including packing all the things that he deserves to indulge himself. With. He probably takes the time to smell good, to indulge in self care, to dress well, and he probably enjoys life and the places he travels to to the fullest. Maybe the problem is you're not packing enough, pun intended. But still, the question is out in Bali. I'm getting ready for a hot day tonight. I found the perfect fit, but there's a big problem. Let's see if I can solve it by the end of this video. Hey, I'm Edward. Back home in LA, I'm all about that Capricorn life. I'm super work focused. I'm not really going on dates, but ever since being in Bali, I don't know, it's something in the air, the food, the energy. Something about Bali life is just a Allowing me to say yes to more things. That said, I'm having a bit of a situation. Maybe you can relate. I've already made up in my mind that I'm wearing this outfit. It's from a Korean designer. I think it really fits the environment I'm in. It makes my arms look good. It complements my complexion. The outfit is perfect, but the sizing on these pants, they don't even zip up halfway. Like, I know the food is good here. Still, I've been working it out, okay? But these pants are telling me otherwise. After deciding not to breathe, I was finally able to squeeze into these pants with a few minutes to spare, and I was fully committed to the idea of compromising my comfort to look good. But then I realized, wait, I can get away with leaving the pants open and using the satchel as a hidden belt. What do you think? Can you tell that my pants are still halfway open? Fit check, leg up like Jackson wearing a coil array and everything. What do you think of the fit? Because. I tried putting Korean onions on my skin. Hear me out. This is how my skin is looking in Bali. This is how it looked in LA. Bali, LA. Hey, my name is Edward. You might know that I have PMLE, which basically means I'm a vampire and I have a sun allergy. If I don't wear sunscreen, my skin looks like this. So, how is it that I'm out here in Bali in full sun and thriving? I can think of three reasons reason one, reason two, and reason three. All three of these sunscreens are from Korean skincare brand i s e n t r y Each one has a different function. The key ingredient in this one is Korean onion, and it's formulated. For blemish prone, uneven skin. At first, I thought it would leave a white cast, but instead, it makes your skin have this ethereal glow. I never thought I'd say I love putting onions on my skin. This one has yam root and it's slightly tinted for a matte finish. I use this when I need a little bit of a natural cover up. And lastly, this is the new Daily Sun Gel. It's super light and great for sensitive skin types. And all three of these sunscreens are part of the Amazon Prime Day sale. But let's take a look at these onions. But I gotta show you one more thing. This is one of the most magical places I've ever been. This does not look right. Sir, are you sure this is the right way? He 
says nothing. Suddenly, three guys stop the car and one of them says follow. It's my first time in Bali. I'm alone and have no idea what's going on. I have never been in a situation like this. Maybe I should have just got a room at the Four Seasons, the Amen or Bulgari Bali. But no, my frugal Asian self did not want to spend $3,000 a night on a luxury hotel, so I guess this serves me right. Hold on, I can hear the ocean and animals. Wait, I think we are here. I guess I am sleeping here, but it's too dark to see anything. Come back for part two in the morning. What were they thinking when they made this? No, no. Like, you see that, right? It's like a real-life airbrush. This is insane. My favorite thing about this is that after you do your concealer foundation on this side, you can go back in with this side and do touch-ups. When you use the original sponge, sometimes the powder and the foundation gets mixed up together on your surface. This one keeps everything in its place. You can go back and do precise touch-ups. So if you don't have this- I'm fucking my hairs right now because I'm about to go to the airport and I want to increase my chances of getting asked out. Here are eight easy things you can do to increase your chances of being asked out. One, pluck those hairs for an even smooth complexion. Two, scrub your lips to be more kissable. Make sure to get the size of your nose and your mustache area. I'll explain later. Three, moisturize your hair. Remember when I told you to scrub your mustache? Well, this will help you with step four. Get a closer shave. Five, invest in some good skincare. I always use an essence, a serum, a moisturizer, and don't forget the other parts of your body, including your neck. Six, brighten your face with strategically placed brighteners and concealers. Seven, add some natural color to your face. You can experiment with blush, a neutral eye palette, a pop of highlighter, and some bronzer. Eight, get one of these hair dryers. It's worth the investment. And that's it, super quick and easy. I used to be one of those people who would just wear sweats at the airport, but having a routine to look and feel your best really makes a huge difference with the perks you get at the airport. What kind of perks? Well, if enough of you want it, I'll do a follow-up video breaking down all the perks of being put together while traveling. One more thing I forgot this to show you. is crazy. So there's a viral Korean skincare device that everyone has been talking about for treating clogged or big looking pores. By the way, did you know that not all pores are created equal? Which one of these looks like your pores? So this is a Korean needle-free dermapen called the ATS Airshot. Pause on screen to read how it works and check out these clinical test results after just one use, as well as these before and afters. How you use it is simple. Turn it on and it has different intensity levels. And according to the Korean company Medicube, you're supposed to float the electric currents above your skin without making direct contact. You can either tap, brush, or sweep on clean, dry skin. After your skin is primed with this device, you're supposed to follow up and apply the complimentary Medicube Zero Pore Serum. This one has been clinically tested by Korea Institute of Dermatological Sciences. Check out the clinical findings on screen. You have to give this device a try, especially if you want to improve the appearance of your pores. But like I said, what? it's colorless on the wand, but as soon as you put it on, it looks like alien skin. This is like a fantasy in a bottle. It is un. Real. This highlighter changes color depending on where the light hits. So about a week ago, I went to a She Glam event in LA. And while I was there, I met a celebrity makeup artist. And they were telling me that there is this new thing called Chroma Glow Bloom. And they were like, you have to try this. It literally gives you like fantasy skin. And I was like, fantasy skin, what is that? So let's try it. The applicator is white. Do you see that? This is ethereal. This is magic. You know how some highlighters, it just makes your skin look like glitter. This creates some otherworldly effect. You can go as high fantasy or low fantasy as you want. This is my favorite shade out of the three. It still looks super natural even though I added a lot more on. It's so cool. I love it. You gotta go try it. Made me try it. Apparently people are doing this for skin benefits. Other than this tape situation, I think there's a lot of things that we do to look good. Work out, drink a lot of water. I try to drink a few of these a day. And we're supposed to use retinol. Problem is, a lot of these retinols are not suitable for people with sensitive skin, like myself or maybe you. Korean products are known for being more gentle and innovative. That's why you gotta check out Korean retinol. What I like about this retinol eye cream is that you can use it on all the areas that you typically would use for taping. Love that you can use this eye cream around other areas of your face because it's so gentle. I don't know if you guys know this, but I read this in the comments on Amazon. Apparently, beta panthenol works really great in synergy with retinol, and it just so happens this Korean brand, Some By Me, also has this beta panthenol cream, which you're supposed to use together. A lot of Korean skincare that I've noticed is very budget friendly. Maybe ditch the tape and make sure you check out this hack on Amazon.